Okay guys, we're here at Laguna Regional just trying to catch some trout and while I wait I thought that I would show you my setup for a trout rig. So the thing that you'll need first is a four pound monofilament, a tiny hook, um, some people may say you need barbless to release but I'm not planning on releasing any trout that I catch here, the stocked stuff. So I think this is a size eight or something. And then you'll need a Carolina Keeper. And then lastly, a tiny weight. So I believe this is like one sixteenth. Here's a half ounce, for example. Or I think this is a quarter ounce egg sinker. So much smaller, right? So the first thing we're going to do, put the weight weight on. So we're doing basically a Carolina rig, but instead of using a leader line and a separate snap swivel, such as this, that's where this becomes really important. So we'll first put our, our uh, egg sinker on. We get the Carolina keeper. And if you can see, there's a small slit vertically or horizontally. So what you're going to do is just grab your pliers. When you squeeze, a little hole appears. See that? So when that hole appears, then we stick the keeper through. And if I let it sit here, See how it stays? And so then from here, I'll determine my leader length, however long I want it. So then my line will stay in place here. And it takes quite a lot of um, force to open this up. So if I were to just tug on this right now, it would probably snap my line because only a four pound line. And then I'll put my weight on. Do you want your stick or not? So I usually just do an improved clinch. Do you want your stick or not, Owen? And maybe like five, six turns. I want my shit, but just whittle it. Through and through. Can I open this? No, and you don't need that. Okay. I want to. Ouch. All right. Through and through. Like that. And then we'll cut our tag end here. And then we, I usually use a mouse tail. No, not that. Thank you. <laughs> so I like to, I like fun. to um, rig it like a swim bait. So it would look something like this, right? And in, inside, but there's a couple ways you can do it. I'll show you the ones that I like to do. First one, we'll just rig it like a regular swim bait. We'll just go through and then make it stick out a little bit on the tail. And then, and then I personally like to cover uh, the whole hook and just leave it open a little bit. All right, so that's what it can look like. Something's up with this mouse tail. Oh, that's a good example though. Okay, that's the first way I like to rig it. I'll take this off. <clears throat> Second way I like to rig it sometimes is I go the opposite. So I'll go tail first. And then go through this way. Okay, because then the hook will still be exposed right still be exposed but most of my line is concealed and if i wanted to i can make it weedless by just covering up stick. cool buddy make it weedless by just covering up it uh up the end of the hook like that so that's my second way i really like this because then it floats vertically upright
and let me take this out. And then the third method, and I try this if I'm not getting any bites, is eventually this tail would fall off, right? So let's assume it falls, falls off here. You could do the same thing, just, just single hook. You could single hook it like this, right? Almost like a, like a, like a power ball. And, or what I like to do is I like to do this. And then on top of that, I'll add it like a, hold on. Yeah. yeah. Almost like a wacky rig like that. And so then if there's any uh, current, then this thing kind of shakes and jiggles. So that gives me a little bit more options. Um, I really haven't had a ton of luck with anything other than mice tail. But again, you know, like to each his own, I think everyone has a different method and a different location and, and whatnot. Here in OC, uh, most of the regional parks are all stocked with trout and they're typically eating something that looks eating something that looks like this right so if you present something or anything that looks remotely similar to this then i'm sure eventually you'll get bit it's just a matter of time and uh you usually you know you'll, you'll get something so hopefully that helps um stay tuned for more if you like please subscribe we'll see you later